Hi, I'm Tom from the Burp Scanner development team. Today, I'm going to talk a little bit about the Crawl Paths view. So this is a brand new feature that we've been thinking about for a very long time, and we're really excited that after several months of development, we're finally going to be able to get it into your hands. So let's just dive straight in and have a look at what it is. So I've got a crawl and audit here of Portswigger's intentionally vulnerable application gin and juice shop that I've kicked off. And if I open the view details and head over to the crawl paths tab, we can see the shiny new view. So what this is showing here is how Burp Suite's scanner's crawler maps out an application. As it's crawling, it's clicking on links, submitting forms, things like that, just like a real user would. And then it's viewing web pages, again, just like a real user would. And we can finally see all of that in product. So on the left here, we've got all of the actions that Burp Suite's crawler has taken. So for example, we requested gin and juice shop, we clicked on products, and then we might have clicked on the books category. We've got view details, which are all the, the different products. And then on the right, we can see the destination URL. So this is taken straight from Chrome's address bar. We can see the page title, and we can also see any HTTP messages that were sent when we did the action that took us to that page. So for example, when we clicked on the books category, it sent off a piece of document traffic to go and load the books category page. But this one, the view details tab, this is for a particular product that uses a JavaScript call to go and load all the product information. We can see both of those bits of traffic. So this is similar to the Chrome network tab, if you've ever used Chrome DevTools, in that we're seeing everything that was needed as an HTTP message to build the page. Now, if we've run an audit, we can also see all of our issues. These issues being the ones that responded to the H, the ones that are relevant to the HTTP messages that were sent. So again, looking at this view details page here, we've got our two messages, we've got our document load and our JSON load, and we've got an external service interaction issue relating to the JSON. Now this is really powerful for two reasons. Firstly, we finally get to show off what our crawler is actually doing. We've been telling people about this for a very long time, um, and up until now, you've just kind of had to take our word for it. So you can now actually see how the crawl is building a, a tree of the application. So from all of your start URLs to all of the different locations in the application. But also you can finally see your attack surface of the target you're crawling. It also gives you really easy reproduction steps. So if you want to go and have a look at an issue for yourself, you can see in the left here exactly how to get back to the part of the application where that issue is present. So yeah, request in and juice shop, click products, click view details. It's all there for you. So we're still actively working on this feature and we've got plenty more planned to come for it. Um, but please do let us know what you think so far.